Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome to our first bonus episode of Season 4. We won't be playing a mission today. Instead, we'll talk about why we made the choice to build the Resistance Comms facility in our last installment instead of the Advanced Warfare Center or a Psionics Lab. Now, let me go back a little bit and explain what I was originally planning to do was that I would build the Guerrilla Tactics School and then the next thing I would do would be to build the Psionics Lab. And so I made it a point to rush the sectoid autopsy and unlock Psionics. And then I ran into a very unexpected roadblock because I kind of thought Psionics was a relatively quick research project. Instead, as you can see, it's scheduled, even now after we've added a couple of scientists, to take 25 days. Now here's the problem. At this phase of the game, it's really important that we get certain things done. We have to finish magnetic weapons. We have to research armor. And then you have miscellaneous stuff like we got to get going on the you know officer autopsy and stuff like that. So if this was just you know like a week, I could squeeze it in. But it's 25 days. And you know, realistically, the only thing or the thing that would wait if I did this even immediately once this is done, what would have to wait is armor. And let me tell you, that's a really bad idea because mutons are coming. Like some of these harder aliens are coming. We're having enough trouble with stun lancers and sectoids. So I cannot be in a position where we're getting one-shotted or a muton tosses a plasma grenade and wipes out two of our soldiers. So... It doesn't mean we're not going to do psionics. We're still going to do psionics. But what it does mean is we can't do it as soon as I thought. Uh, because even if I wasn't worried about armor, okay, like let's just say, oh, no, nope, I said I was going to do psionics. I'm just going to do psionics as soon as magnetic weapons are done. Okay, I still can't start building it for 25 freaking days after that. So on top of these 12, that's 37 more days. So in terms of my original idea that, hey, as soon as the, uh, you know, guerrilla tactics school is built and I get another slot open, I'll just build a psionics lab. That was not possible. So I didn't, I just didn't realize how long the stupid research time was because honestly, like when you do online research and stuff, it's very difficult, if not impossible to find good information on that kind of thing, like research times. Okay. So I couldn't build the psionics lab here. So then I guess I had three choices. I just build nothing for quite a while and I hold that slot until I can build psionics kind of a dumb idea uh, because if nothing else you know I could I can always clean out another slot and build the psionics lab there so why leave this empty so if we agree that's a bad idea then the question is well what would you build in its place now we could have built a power you know station uh, but we didn't need it yet. It's only once we started building this one that we maxed out our power. Uh, laboratory is worthless at this phase of the game. Well, honestly, they're pretty worthless no matter what. Um, workshop is great. Doesn't Does not go here. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, that would destroy its usefulness. So realistically, what it came down to was... I could build the AWC, which is normally what I would do. I would build that second. Or resistance comms. Now, I was very tempted to just start working on the AWC, start shortening our hospitalization times, hopefully start unlocking some of those secondary abilities for our soldiers. Here's why I didn't do it. Because I feel like we're 
starting off behind, because I did not get an engineer for so long, and so not only was I not building stuff as fast as I could have been, the other thing that does is like you get resources when you clear these out, you know, like this is 77 supplies for this. 123 supplies. I don't know what this one was, but it was, you know, along those lines. So all those days, there was like a month or more where we should have had an engineer from the second mission, but because we failed it, we didn't have one. So I could have cleared out both of these two and gotten like a couple hundred supplies that we could have used to our benefit, but we don't have those, you know? Like I just got this one. And now I'm gonna start working on the, the next spot. So I can never get that time back. On top of that, we need to spend more this playthrough than I probably ever have in the early game because I'm still trying to build all the things I normally build. I still need the AWC. I still need the proving ground. I still need power. I still need all that crap. And I need a psionics lab. So here's what I'm thinking resistance comes like I'm already maxed out my contacts so if I can get this built that'll allow me to make contact with more resistance cells faster than I would have been normally because normally I wouldn't build this until after the AWC after I built a power station and then I could put this up so we won't have to wait for that we can make contact with another region and just keep pushing forward. So I think that's the right thing to do. What I, of course, what I'd like to do is just build the AWC uh, like right on top of this, you know, boom, boom. We don't have money. Uh, we don't have enough engineers to clear space out. So even though this one's taking 60 days and this one would take like 10, the reason I'm doing this is because I am gonna build the power station here and I need to do that as soon as possible so that we even could build an AWC. Like I can't build the AWC because I have no power. Okay, hopefully that's clear. Basically what it came down to for me is that maybe by moving resistance comms up, it'll help me bankroll the psionics lab and some of these other things that we need to do and then also too, you know, now that we know where the um, the uh, alien facility is, you know, maybe we can get there just a little bit faster because I need to. That's going to be difficult. I just realized because we don't have um, resistance radio, we only have you know resistance comms being built. One issue at a time. <laughs> Let me see. How long would it take to research radio? 11 days so see this is another research tech we're probably gonna have to try to fit in maybe even before armor and that's really bad. I'm so anxious about not having armor okay the purpose of this video was to have a more in-depth strategic discussion than I felt would fit in the context of our normal let's play video but I don't want to abuse that and turn this into you know just a rambling discussion so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Now, I would appreciate it if you could let me know whether it's with likes or comments or whatever. I guess views will also be a barometer. But I will do more of this if people are interested in it. And if you know nobody really cares, you mostly just want to watch the missions, that's fine too. That's cool. But I thought this is something I could make really quick. And at least it's always interesting to me to talk about stuff like this at a little deeper level. And I'm very aware of these let's play episodes you know they get long quick so uh, because especially with better advent we're fighting more guys than i think we would be otherwise uh, at any rate that's going to do it for now thanks for watching i hope we see you next time